today we are going to try out something which I think is pretty neat, pretty interesting. We are going to try automate the colony entirely from just our base. And yeah, yeah, I can already hear the ons, but do bear with me. I genuinely think that this could be a game changer. So whenever I say we're going to automate the colony, I do mean it in a literal sense. I think we can take in almost all of the requests that these idiots make and have our machines here then automatically craft and supply those requested items to them. And you may say to yourself, Isn't that the whole point of the main colonies mod though? You construct buildings so that you eventually build up a fully autonomous village? Well, yeah, but if we can pull this off, I think it's going to be way cooler. Also, not really sure why you guys have that voice, but, you know. Anyway, enough preamble. Let's look into this. We are going to need to make a few new components from a couple of new mods which I've had to install for this idea. So let's teach our machine some of these new components. We will start off with an advanced computer from CC Tweaked, as well as some advanced monitors. We are going to require an RS bridge for this, which will require a peripheral casing. We'll need to teach the machine how to make some builder goggles, just so then we can make ourselves a colony integrator block. And finally, we will need to make a entangled block with an entangled binder, just so that we can set it up. So that's a few new components there for our machines to make, and I think that was maybe a level 2 or level 3 upgrade to our mine. Let's just simply then stick all of these new components into one of our diamond crafters and then we'll just simply get our machines making those components up for us. So I think we will set these new machines up just above our refined storage setup here which means I will need to remove the wireless transmitter at least for the moment. In fact if I just sit it there, yeah that could work. Then I'm going to sit the computer just on top of the crafting grid there. We will sit the Aris bridge then just on top of it. We will place the colony integrator just behind that and finally the entangled block just to the side of the computer. So all three of those blocks should now be connected to the computer and the computer itself connected to our refined storage machines. I'm going to set a few monitors down just beside the computer. Let's make a little bit of space and I think we'll do six of them in total. Then I'm going to put some external storage onto the entangled block and we will use some cables to connect everything up then to our refined storage machine. So far so good, that's all looking nice and connected. Now what we'll need to do with the entangled binder is head to our warehouse and with it I'm going to shift and right click on the warehouse block. Then we will right click on the entangled block and that should place the warehouse block inside of it, which basically now gives us access to everything within the warehouse. So now we need to set up the computer to take in requests and pass it on to a refined storage machine, which I have no idea how all of this works. I'm just going to simply follow some instructions. So within our save file for our playthrough, we will have a new folder for computer craft due to CC tweaks and inside of it we only have one file at the moment but we need to create a new folder just for our computer within the game. So jumping back into Minecraft we will go into the computer and we need to do edit and then give this thing a name of which I'm just going to call this idiot at the moment then control to access the menu and return to save. So back in our computer craft folder, we now have access to computer, which if we then dive further in, we've got our little idiot save file. Still not entirely sure what all of this means, but we had to make that up just to get inside of this folder. There is a file called RS Warehouse, which I've downloaded, and I'm just going to simply paste that into here. So back in game, once again, we go back into the computer, 
and this is where we can now type rs warehouse and pressing return should initialize the program which it has indeed so we now have up some non-builder requests and if our builder was currently working on anything those requests would also show up here as well now because i placed the entangled block to the right of the computer i had to change the files of the rs warehouse just to specify it's to the right i think by default it's set to the left so play around with that yourself but i think that's pretty much it then so what we will do is get our builder moving on to do something uh, let's upgrade the town hall next. We will set that for a level 3 upgrade, so the builder will eventually pick that up and start requesting in some items, which he has just picked it up there, but I don't think he is requesting in anything yet. We do have a few current non-builder requests, which I'm not sure why the machine won't make those up for them, so I will maybe just do that manually. But as for the builder requests, we're just awaiting on him actually making them. Well, he is requesting in some items at the moment, but our couriers are delivering those items purely because they're already in the warehouse. So whenever he starts requesting things in, like some barrels, which I don't think the colony has any of those in stock, those should then go onto our computer. Yes, indeed they have. So those are coloured in red at the moment, meaning that our machine here doesn't know how to make them. But with us putting in that pattern there for a barrel, they now should know how to do it. So whenever this updates in a few seconds time, that should hopefully go from red to yellow. Just to say that the machine now knows how to make them. And we're now just waiting it going green to say that it's been made and just awaiting to be delivered. And just like that, the machine has made those barrels up for him and has delivered it through into the entangled block into the warehouse. So, there's a request fully automated for him. Yes, Bailey, our courier, has just delivered those barrels to him here. The only items the machine cannot make up are architect cutter recipes, unfortunately. So we will still need to do that by hand, just until we do get up a sawmill build and they then automate that for us. Which we will need to get a university up to research that. So for the moment, I will just simply make them up those blocks. And there you go then, Builder. That is everything you're going to require for a level 3 town hall. Just as quick and as simple as that. Brilliant. I think what we will do actually is just go around the colony and upgrade everything that we can to level 3. Starting off with the warehouse. So there's a few upgrades then to level 3. And we will see how quickly our machines can help him get those up. Speaking of getting things up, the town hall is already 80% of the way to level 3. And whilst he gets on with all of those upgrades, I think we will spend the time trying to find a home for the university, which I may just stick to the side of our base here. We'll be using the university more often than not, so close access, why not? And that is then another building for him to work on. The town hall is just about to flag off as complete. He's pissing about with vines at the moment. Yeah, it's looking pretty dull in here. But at least that's it now done. And he has picked up the university build next, which is even better. Lots of items in that list for us to teach to our machines just to automate his life. I think we will come around and help him clear all of these trees that are here. We will come out eventually and fix them up with some proper trees, but I think for the moment, let's just get this building established. Yep, that's looking a lot more clear. So we will just await on him requesting in some items here, and anything we need to teach to the machines, we will just simply do. I seen we had a non-builder request in for the miner for some jungle stay of which our machine has just made all of those for him so in five seconds time that should go from green to pretty much nothing 
just as it gets supplied to the warehouse. And then it's just simply a job for our courier to take those stairs over to the miner. Hello Bailey, what do you have? She has nothing at the moment because she's picking up items from the builder's hut. But she'll get around to delivering those stairs eventually. Well, the sirens are going off because we have a tornado forming somewhat close to where we're putting up the university, of course. So I think we will just quickly nip this in the bud before it becomes an issue. And yes, of course, it is heading directly towards us, because why not? Right, you. Go away. That's it. You just back away there, mister. We've got a university to get up here. Bloody tornadoes coming over here, trying to ruin our day. Not with all of the progress that we're going to start making. We are starting to get in a few builder requests then. A composter barrel and a carved pumpkin, uh, which we will need a precision sawmill for. That's no problem at all. We will first need to teach our machines how to make some sawmills. And that's all now set up for us. So now let's get out a pattern then for a carved pumpkin, which we will sit inside of the crafter on top. And after the next update, that should be the carved pumpkin going yellow. And that's it now on its way to be delivered. Jungle planks panels and framed cobblestone items here are architect cutter recipes, which sadly we will still need to make up just until we do get up the sawmill building and then they can deal with that for us. I think what I'm going to do is remove the jungle logs that he had placed down there and instead we'll see if we can get a proper tree growing up in its place. I'll see about doing that with all of these blocks here. There we go then. Hopefully that will save him a little bit of time trying to grow trees. This is brilliant. We are now 40% supplied for this upgrade and I've barely had to do a thing. Our machines are just simply kicking into action whenever he does request in anything and he's getting this up really, really quickly. We are now 20% done with the upgrade, so it will take him a little longer to request in all of the items and get it up for us, but I reckon at this point I could quite easily just leave the colony and that would eventually flag off as complete. So let's just do that actually. Let's head away from the colony, knowing fully well that it's now fully automated. And I have one final little treat for you guys. Oh, I think you're going to like this. Our little spore experiments have maybe slightly gotten out of hand. So yes, the spread is now out on the overworld, but at least inside, it's just as terrible. And if we could clear a path right up into this, we can now come in to the testing area, which, uh, yep, has certainly grown quite a lot by itself. So I would certainly say that whenever these things eventually break free, we're all going to be absolutely fucked.